Hi and welcome to well what will be the third in the pen tool and using the pen tool with Photoshop. First was basically straight lines, the second was using the curves. This one we're looking at editing paths so that you'll draw a straight line and maybe you forgot to add a control point in uh, so that you need to, uh, an anchor point in rather, so that you maybe need to convert. So here we go, this is using the edit file that you'll find and you can download if you want to follow along. First things first, make sure you've got your pen tool selected, so there it is. Then I'm just going to zoom in on uh, what I want to deal with, so this, this one here, this line here. Now say for instance you've clicked once, one dot here, and you've clicked on this dot here to do a straight line. Hopefully you're okay with this, if you're not then I really encourage you to go to our straight line exercise and straight line video and have a look at that. So what I want to do is bend this line upwards a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just add a point in. So I'm going to just click here to add a point. So notice as I move my mouse over to add the point that the little plus occurs next to my mouse point. You can see that there? So when I click once it adds a plus in and you've also added two control handles either side of this here and I've got this control point here. So to be able to move this plus, I'm just going to go over down to here and then you've got a couple of tools available. There's the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. The one we want to choose is the direct selection tool. It's the white arrow. If the white arrow is already there, great. You don't need to select, you just need to click on it. You don't need to click and hold your mouse button down to bring up this menu. Good. So with the white arrow tool selected, I'm going to go up, just hover over this line, click on it once to select it. Then click and hold my mouse down on the dot and then drag that up. You can see here it's dragged it to make this arch to go up like so. There you go. If I need to adjust the line any what, I can just, or any how, any what, any how, I can click and drag these little control handles. I can make the one arch bigger or deeper than the other arch. That's good, but I'm just going to balance it up. There we go. Uh, then uh, there's no need to control click away because I'm already on the direct selection tool, but I can click away, that's fine. Back to the pen tool. So give that a click. Okay. Now let's say we've done it the other way around. We want to remove a point. So let's just click once, twice, three times to create our pyramid shape. But you know what? This central, this peak of the pyramid, we don't want that anymore. So if I hover the mouse over there, and if you should look very closely, you can see that there is... Oh, just got rid of that menu there. That's it. You can see that there's a little minus sign. You see that there? little minus sign next to the mouse pointer. When I see the minus sign, click once with the mouse, and then that disappears. Just zoom back so you can see there. That's good. That's how you remove a point. Hover over a line, click to add a point, and then click on an existing point to remove it. Excellent. What you can also do is you can convert points as well. So what does it mean by that? Well, say for instance we've got this line uh, here, we've got this curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my white arrow tool, and I'm going to click on my line here just to select it. Just click on the central point. You see here, these two bits are control handles. Remember I moved them earlier on. If I go back to the pen tool, hold my mouse down on the pen tool, notice that there's a convert point tool here at the bottom. With the convert point tool, arm, or armed with that tool, if I hover over that dot, the dot with the two control handles, and I click once, what it does is it converts a curve, that was a point that was a curve, into a corner, basically. So that corner point, or the convert point tool there, will allow me to change curves into corners and corners into curves. Let's just change that back into a curve. If I go hover over, click and drag, you see there, I've got a curve. Click once again, there I've got a corner. You can also do that with a pen tool as well. I'm taking a risk here, so let's go and see. If I go over up here and I hover over, and then if I hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, I can then go to my convert point tool, which allow me to convert that into a curve. Let go, that's good, and then hold the let me see if I let go of the Alt key, it's gone back to the pen tool. If I hold the Alt key down again, hover over, click once, it goes into a corner point. So far, so good. So what we're going to do is just going to go down and pan up to this window here. And you see I've got my star here. So I'm just going to create a little, uh, I'm just going to create a star here. So the first area of the star, that's fine. I can just click to do straight lines. So here we go. So if you haven't seen how to do straight lines, all I'm doing is clicking. Notice I haven't got any dots in the middle. I think you're big enough now to realize where you need to click to create your straight lines. Just be very careful. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit to show you that wherever you finish your shape, that there's a little circle next to your mouth to make sure that the shape is closed. That's great. Excellent. 
Great, and now we're going to do this point here. So what we're going to do here is just click once and create straight points. And you see the way I'm clicking is in a clockwise direction. So if you follow along, we'll just watch this, then pause the video, and then follow along yourself. That's good. Make sure that you close your shape. I'll then hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, which will then, um, sorry, I'm going to go actually down and select the Convert Put tool. That's it. Click on my shape here. Now, anytime I want anything to be a, um, a curve or any corner point to be a curve, if I hover over it, you see that? It turns into the Convert Point icon. Click and hold my mouse button down and drag a little bit to the right, and you can see the curve there is formed. That one I want to remain sharp, so I'm going to go over to this one here, make sure I'm over that point, click and drag in a clockwise direction. Notice it's in the same direction that I originally created this shape. There we go. Don't worry if it's not precise. Well, it's not really exactly as it is there. That's it. Just go all the way down. There we go. Excellent. Brilliant. What I want to do is just go to, going to go back to my path selection tool to finish off. Just in case I want to click and move the whole path around, I can use that path selection tool. So there we go. That's editing the points, the little anchor points, on the using the pen tool and the convert point tool. We also used the path selection, uh, sorry, the direct selection tool and the path selection tool there. For any more information, uh, please see www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thank you for listening.